Hi, yeah, I had a really humbling experience this morning and I just wanted to share it because I thought it might resonate with some of you and uh, well it just it just it was a surprising experience so I wanted to share it really. So I was at the gym, I'd finished working out, I was in the bathroom, uh, I had a shower, plodding about as you do, not a lot on. <laughs> um, got dry, got dressed and I was just standing combing my hair and this lady who had been in the shower while I was in the shower as well just wandered over to me in her towel and she said, excuse me, I just wanted to say that I love your body confidence. And I have to say, it completely knocked me sideways because I wasn't expecting that to be said to me. And I was just thinking about uh, the fact that I had to get back and that I had my bookkeeper coming in and, and all the stuff that we got to do. And, and I think it was only a few hours, you know, not long earlier, I was thinking about the fact that I've still got so far to go in terms of where I want to get with my body. And I've been doing all this fitness for the last nine months, going to the gym regularly every single week. I've got my new personal program with my personal trainer and I'm really working hard to really make a change for myself but my biggest goal and the biggest, been the biggest shift for me over the last couple of years is instead of focusing on the fat and the weight and all of that sort of nastiness uh, instead focusing on slimming down and, and but mainly vitality health and vitality and fitness so being the fittest I've ever been being the healthiest I've ever been inside and out so looking and feeling as good as I possibly can so that's been my, my real focus and you know, it's really easy to beat yourself up. I certainly have times where I wake up and I think, oh, I just wish I could speed the process up or I wish I was thinner or uh, prettier or my hair was different or my face was different or whatever. We all have those moments. We all beat ourselves up now and then. But to have this lady say that to me was really lovely. It was really uh, surprising and it, and it made me, it was a good reminder is what it was, that there are people out there that just know nothing about you but have all of these things going through their head as to what, who, we're, who we are and what we're like and, and how we must feel inside. And, and we certainly do it to other people. So it makes you stop and think, how many times have you sat there and thought things about other people without really knowing anything about that, about whether they are really feeling as confident as you think they feel, whether they're as happy with themselves or their businesses as, as you think that they are. Is there something that you're missing and you're assuming other people have because they appear to have it but maybe you're giving yourself these high expectations that you know are that make them feel like they're unachievable when in actual fact maybe you're also you're already achieving a great deal and also to remind yourself that you're already doing really good and there will be people out there that are looking at you and feeling the way you feel about other people so we all make these assumptions and judgments and things all the time. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative. We just need to remember that we're great as well, you know? We're doing a good job. We're doing the best job that we can with the resources that we have available to us now. We've, we're all on a journey. We've all got somewhere to go and we've all got to get there along the way and discover the things that we discover as we, as we make that journey. So I guess this is just a little video just to share that with you. It turns out that this lady, she'd never heard of TED Talks, she'd never heard of the Yes Group, she's never done any personal development work, she's never heard of a gratitude diary. You know, all of these things that I really take for granted that I've really incorporated into my life over the last, say, five years. And I just wouldn't be without. And it amazes me how many people out there have never experienced any of these things. They don't know anything about them. And... I just know what a positive effect it's had on my life and I would love to share that with other people so if you're feeling down in the dumps if you're feeling like you're not good enough if you're feeling like you've got this long big hill you've got to get up and you're not quite sure or you feel like you're doing all right you know you're, you're getting there but you just wish it would happen sooner just bear with it you know stick with it if you're really feeling down in the dumps and you've never heard of those any of those things i've mentioned then go check them out ted has the most fantastic talks you could ever listen to they're free you just google it and 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 find them there's just so many there's one on the power of vulnerability uh, by breen breen brown brene brown i can I never quite remember how to say her name but it's absolutely fantastic 
there's lots there's just so many there's too many to, to, to possibly mention all of the ones that I like but definitely go do that you know write a gratitude diary every day write down at least one thing that you're grateful for and soon you'll start you'll start with one and soon you'll have pages and pages of all these fantastic things that you're grateful for in life and it really helps you get in a much more positive state of mind because even when we have a really crappy day actually it's still all in our mind and we can make the most of that we can get up we can try and look for the positives and we can get through that day knowing that if we just keep putting one step in front of the other eventually the day will be gone the next day will be here and we'll be that little step further forward to where we want to be so this is my little message to you if you're still listening <laughs> to say I love what you're doing and you're doing a really good job keep on doing it and um, big hugs from me. Have a great rest of the day.